good day. Oh, uh, hi, Zola. Hi. How are you? I'm doing fine. How's How just... everything? Everything is fine. Can I take a seat? Yeah, yeah, you can sit. It's a bit short that I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit surprised, you know. Yeah, I mean, we work in the same complex, so it's quite expected yes, to enough. bump into each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. But not visiting like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the construction. Uh, oh, interesting. Yes, yeah. it's crazy. I had the pushing to bring in the new tenants. Yeah, that's yeah, like that. January. And the names? Don't get me started. <laughs> he won't have a decent meeting. Hey, yeah. It's crazy. So we have to constantly be up and down in your boardroom. <laughs> yeah, I see. It's fine. You know, so much for being sister company. Yeah, of now. course. You know, yeah. But one day, you never know. You could be coming over to our We week. might. We might. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. But you're right. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Besides the heat. Yeah, they, yeah, it's hot. But then, yeah, yeah I'm keeping cool. Is it? <laughs> yeah. That's good. And how's Patricia? Oh, Patricia. We are great. She's doing great. She's good. Yeah, she's good. Be sure about it. I mean, after yeah. that drama that happened with the boat, the bloggers, yeah, potentially wanting to expose your relationship and how your wife got involved <laughs> in the whole fiasco thing. You know what? As a matter of fact, I once told Patricia to be very careful with this whole thing of dating a married man. And you know what, rather, the going in public places with a married man. I told you many times over, girl, if you have something on the download, keep it on the download. This thing of being seen with him in the public space, booking out a restaurant, you show me the world that you guys are in. And I don't know what do you honestly expect your wife to do. A woman who's welcome to Zola, such Zola, an idea. Zola, if I were you, I'd focus on my miserable relationship. You have this skill of jumping from one miserable relationship to another, to another. Okay, now this escalated fast. Yeah. And amongst your friends, you know, yeah, you're the miserable one, the old one. The other one is getting ready to walk down the aisle. And me and my sweetheart, Patricia, we're okay. We're great. We're doing great. And did you know that your boyfriend would, uh, you know. Yeah, could I? Yeah, the one who is into mining is actually close friends. <laughs> Bad is actually with your ex uh, fiance. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, if, if I were you, I'd seriously try to consider shaking off this misindependent thing. Maybe you might find love, someone who truly loves you for who you are. Where are you getting this from? Dave, don't, don't tell me that you got this information from Pillow Talk. Don't, please don't confirm that. But, uh, as for me and Patricia, we are excellent. We're doing perfectly fine. And I'm actually paying Lobola next year. I have the debt already, so yeah, that'll be great. Female clothes here. In here with her. <laughs> huh? So what's in John? Patricia. Okay. The little one is in John. Wait, I don't know what my sauce is with you. Ah, that was an anani in it. Can I think it? No, I get it, but this is kind of easy. And I'm assuming this is a Dave. Who I know nothing about, Patricia. When are you really going to tell me about Dave? I'm going to introduce you to him. I don't know, okay, when I get time. And you're being suspicious about this whole day issue, you're buying time, and just a good time and stuff. When already, if you have a Zoom wrong guy, honestly, so it means Dave is actually coming here. I just see him with jackets, you watch, Patricia, and how do you pose this guy? You don't even pose this guy. It's so like your Facebook is dry, your WhatsApp status, I found a day for Dave, I think. What, what, what's going on? Really? You know what? 
you stop being nosy, okay? Stop being nosy and stop being childish. No, it's not about being nosy and childish. I read the clouds there and then, like Patricia, honestly, I'm not being childish. And of course, Pamazola knows about all of this. Mabucha Mapoto. Kwana. But Zola has met Dave before I've met him. And Imimi guys, really do I really have to beg Kutindo no Dave? I'm now the person I would have pinned that I'm just force on you guys. Maybe that's the reason one. why you don't know him. Maybe that's the reason why you Oh yeah, 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 woman. Ah, because hey. yeah, I'm told you and childish and nosy. Yeah, this and that. But you're being you're being suspicious, honestly. Patrish. You came here for a slip of and didn't. I think can I go gym? Leave but me. then, uh, uh, I'm actually raising a concern here. Kuti uh, Pamazola actually knows. Kuti no shkritiga. Ine na NDC. This whole day, this, this. Dave is just a mystery to me, honestly. Are you going to meet him? When? Maji kundi na uja mapote. Dile uji jika omsaga. like that. Stop saying it like that. I don't like it. Okay? Apala uji jika omsaga. I will show you, you. I will introduce you to him. Okay, okay, okay. Patricia, I get you. Okay, but it's not just about that. It's about grammar and about four seconds and whatever. Anyways, I hope this day of yours is not a married guy. Yo, and mom never books a photo. Ah, so last week I introduced the topic on the institution of marriage. But our focus today is on one man and one wife. One man and one wife. Proverbs 18 verse 22 says, Awana mukadzi, awana chimichakanaka. Awana mukadzi, awana chimichakanaka. What God wanted in the first was kuti mwene mwene awane waki. But the problem that we are now having nowadays is that women especially are looking just for a man are stable, just for a man are wealthy, just for a man who is cast, just for a man. But the problem is they are not looking at the will of God. But what is it that God wanted at first? Because God chavaida nichekuti mwene mwene but the problem is women are looking for fathers of some children they are looking for men of some men, of some women men who are already married was in some marriages whether unstable whether unhappy whether something like that but that was not God's plan at the beginning so our focus today is on finding one man one wife Matthew 11 verse 4 to six says, what God puts together, let no man put asunder. But the problem that we are having in the church of nowadays is that we are legitimizing what God says is what is illegitimate. You hear, you go to universities, they have nice names. They are called blessers and something like that. Which means people are trying uh, to glorify things which God said are not. So as long as we are a young woman, whether you are young or old, and you are infiltrating or you are penetrating between two people who are married, know that what you are doing is wrong in the eyes of God. Because the Bible is clear. What God puts together, let no man put asunder. First Corinthians 7 verse 2 is also emphasizing one man, one wife. One man, one wife. No girlfriend, no side chick. No something like that. No entanglements. Uh, no situationships. No any of those ways that we may want to use. So basically today we are saying one man, one wife.
Pastor, thank you so much for the word of today. Ah, it was so uplifting. My spirit has been revived. And I think it's a word in season for me. And it's really encouraging. So thank you so much right. for this word. Thank I God. really appreciate it. May God keep increasing you so that we benefit. May God bless you too. All right. Thank you, Pastor. Have a blessed week. Yeah, oh. I don't want to contaminate you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so not bundle, but how are you feeling? I'm mm, good. Getting better. I ordered ginger tea just in case. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. How was church? It was great. Cool. <laughs> Why didn't you come? Oh, by the way, you had to go and get introduced to your married boyfriend's family. Really? We are not doing that. No, we are okay. not doing that. Really? Yes. <laughs> anyway, how was it? Oh, it was great. I met Mamikuruwake, his brother, Tetewake, and some of his sisters. Girl, they... I'm not interested, really. Okay. I'm not interested. Um, are you okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? I, I, okay, I don't know, I'm just... What's wrong? Oh, you tell me. You're the one that's in the business of pillow talking and personal business with her men. I don't know. How am I supposed to be? Sorry, what are you talking about? Oh, let me paint the scenario for you. So there is a friend, tells her friend her personal business, right? You following? Takes it to her man. And then this friend meets the man. Work setting. I work with Dave, remember? The same complex, yeah? And then I go and say him afternoon after a whole really demanding session at work. And then I'm like, let me just talk to Dave. Next thing he's telling me my business that I told you in confidence, Patricia. In confidence. Okay. Imagine my surprise when I get there and I am just but a laughing stock being told. Oh, let me, let me say it in how he, the way he insinuated it. That I'm jumping from one man's bed to the next. So uh, it's not what's like this that. Wrong, what's this, what is this Kuda issue? It's not I don't like, even know about it. What's going on? Where did he get that from? Oh, I don't know, okay? All I you, know you is that, know? yes, please let me explain. All I know is that a friend of a friend to Dave, not to me, is the one who told him, I think Kubora or Okubao, I don't remember. And That's why he was you did told. not bother to tell me as your friend. What was I supposed to say? You were supposed to tell me that, guess what? Kuda's friend, of a friend, of a friend, is a friend to it's, my ex fiance It's a long distance friendship, okay? They are only into business together. No, look, Dave, look at anything. what Dave knows. Look at him. I don't even know how many people he's told. Oh, Imagine myself. Don't, no, don't all please me. If he can rub it and gloat and rub it on my face, how many people has he told? Zola, you know Dave is not like that, please. Uh, mm -mm, no, I don't. The Dave I saw who was gloating is not the one that I know. So I can't really speak for your man right it's now. It's my boyfriend you're talking about. Oh, I watch can't wash tone. him with milk. So I should watch my tone when he's the one going around telling me things that I am sleeping with men from one bed to the next. Am I supposed to know how many people my ex fiance knows, Patricia? I was just trying to protect you. From what? It's, your, Here it's a we new are. relationship. It's a new relationship, okay? And, and that is when you expose all the dirty laundry. Line it out for me to pick what I can deal with. Don't protect me like I'm a child. You're not my mother, are you? when I get here. <laughs> it's been the norm. But when I get here, you guys just keep quiet. As you're busy keeping secrets. Hey, I don't even I don't even know why I'm so part of this squad, honestly. How was your Sunday? Uh, <laughs> oh, what's wrong? 
Don't worry, Benyota. It's nothing important. Okay? Oh, I'll be Where's damned. The... Nothing important, Patricia. Nothing important. Zola, please. Don't make this about you, okay? We are here for the wedding update. Ah, ah really? So the wedding update is more important oh. than you lining my dirty laundry, my personal, it's not even dirty laundry, my personal information and business to your married boyfriend. <laughs> Don't start, okay. Oh, oh really? I shouldn't. Just be a grown I up shouldn't. for once. Oh, I should I should be grown up. Yes. About this. Everything doesn't have to be to be about you. So oh, no, it's wait, not wait. about me. It's about oh, you don't even understand. Don't tell me it's not about me when everything is about me in this situation. You were the one that told your married boyfriend about my personal okay, business. Can I just leave this married boyfriend, married boyfriend? Is he title? not married? Is he not married? You miss church today. You should have had the sermon when talking about waiting for a guy Guys, who's unmarried, a whole bachelor. Down? Maybe that was going to help you repent. How is that helping you? <laughs> Guys, I'm at a better position than you, sweetheart. You know what, honey? Send me the whole wedding update on my phone. You can FaceTime in and we discuss this energy. Yeah, I can't. Sola? What's going on? What is this? Married guy? Jeez. It's none of your business, okay? 